Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm going to be asking you five questions to get to know yourself a little bit better. Okay, I have some stuff written down here. Okay, number one, what is something you love about yourself? What I wrote down that I love about myself is I love how understanding I am and how spontaneous I am. I do love that because I just love to, I love surprises, so... I don't expect everyone to be surprising me all the time, but hey, by being spontaneous, I'm surprising myself, so I do love that. Um, number two, I have, when do you feel most confident? I feel most confident when I'm nice and clean with an outfit of my choice. It doesn't matter what outfit, because as long as I like it in the moment, I'm going to be happy. And when I prove to myself I can do something that I didn't think I could do, kind of like roller skating. When I first like thought of doing it, I was watching videos of people like roller skating and I was like, oh my gosh, they're doing so amazing. Like, I wish I could do that. And then I was thinking, I was like, Diana, of course you can do that. They didn't just, they weren't born on the skates. Like, they weren't, they didn't come out of the womb knowing how to roller skate. They practiced, and then next thing you know, they got good. So I was like, that can be you. So, what what do you think I did? I went online, and I got myself some roller skates. Because I was like, this is something that I know I'm going to always want to know how to do. This is just like, it's just one of those things that I've always wanted to learn. So, I put myself in the position to learn. And I'm so happy because I did learn the only thing I'm still in the process of learning is how to stop but other than that like I can roller skate which is pretty amazing to me okay number three what is something I should forgive myself for I forgive myself for not having confidence to start anything like anything that I've wanted to start and that I didn't I forgive myself that I didn't because we all sometimes don't think we can that happened that used to be me a lot I used to feel like I couldn't I had to wait I had to get older I had to know more and now I'm like what I don't have to know more I have to just start so that I can know more and I'm happy that I do know that now and I forgive myself and that's it okay number four what is the most important thing in a person what is the most important thing a person can do in life? And I said, live with a purpose and have no regrets. So I just mean the fact that anyone can do anything they want to do. And same thing with me, I can do anything I want to do. And I just don't want to regret. I, think, I don't want to be 80 years old and say to like other children, like, oh, make sure you do those things that you dream about because... You could be like me and not have done it. No, that's not what I want to be saying. I want to be saying, I'm 80 years old and I've done everything that I've ever wanted to do. And I still have new goals. Because the more, if you don't start to do the goals that you have now, it's harder for you to get more goals because that one goal is still on your mind. So when you start to just like, going at your goals new things new ideas will pop up and great things happen when that happens um so yeah number four was if you remember you probably do okay so and then go back a little bit or do you want me to repeat it no you're good okay number five this is my favorite one what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail personally if i knew i couldn't fail I would have started my YouTube channel a long, long time ago when I first wanted to when I was like eight or seven, which I'm 24. That's almost like 14 years. That's insane amount of time. And that's okay. I forgive myself for not starting then. I was a child and I'm not saying anyone was has to push me, but no one was pushing me to go do it either way. So I kept saying to myself, oh, when I'm older, oh, when, when I finish high school, I want to have a normal life. 
just because I did know I was really talented. I was so I felt like if I did it, I was just gonna become this huge, famous um, pop star, pop star, and I wouldn't have a normal life. So that was my reasoning. Hey, I'll take it. It's fine. I forgive myself for not doing that, but I'm happy that I here am now doing the things I want to do. Let's go. Um, but what I wrote down, so for number five was start a YouTube. I wanted to start a YouTube since MySpace days. It was my dream and always made, and I always made excuses on why I couldn't. So yeah, that is the end of these five questions to get to know yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.